hello everyone so in this video we are going to do one chemical conversion this is from phenol to anisole and also the reverse process that is from anisole to phenol so first let us know the structure of phenol and anisole the structure of phenol is is a benzene ring and one OH group is there so this is phenol and anisole structure is this is the benzene ring and the group OCH3 is attached with the benzene ring. Okay, so first let's make anisole from phenol. Okay, so in this phenol, first if we add NaOH, okay, then say it will form benzene ring here see oxygen is minus H is plus and in NaOH Na is plus OH is minus so this minus sign will attack the plus one so here it will form ONA plus and the H plus will attract this OH minus ion so it will form H2. So this compound is known as sodium phenoxide. Okay. Now in sodium phenoxide, if we add CH3Cl, that is methyl chloride, then what will happen? It will form benzene ring. And here it is OCH3 that is any soul because see here the CH3 is positive charge delta positive and here it is delta negative and in the phenoxide also on oxygen atom it is delta negative and and on sodium it is delta plus so the plus will attract the minus okay so Na plus will attract the Cl minus so it will form NaCl and oxygen will attract the CH3 part so here it is OCH3 so in this way you can form any soul from phenol now let's see how to prepare phenol from any soul see in this any soul now if you add HI that is hydrogen iodide and apply heat so what will happen say in HI it is delta plus and iodine is delta minus similarly in this OCH3 group on oxygen atom it is delta minus and CH3 group it has delta plus so the minus will attract the plus one so O will attract the H plus ion so the compound OH group that is phenol will form and the rest of the part is CH3 here and I here so this CH3 I that is methyl iodide okay so in this way you can form from phenol to anisole and also from anisole to phenol